<coughs> and this is actually going a like lot faster than normally does, which is good considering this game, this hardware is supposed this computer is supposed to be a lot better than the one I had. And that reminds me, I need to find my uh, Elgato and see if it works with this one. If it does, yay, we can do Switch games. If not, then I'm gonna cry. Uh, I think what I'm gonna do is try a different character this time. <coughs> Let's go balanced. Because there's no way I'm anywhere near good enough at this to do any kind of hard mode. And Explorer, I don't know how much of the how much battling we'd get to do, and I'm, I'd like to add that in, obviously. But yeah, you guys get to see me suck at D&D, &D, essentially. Because back when I was dating my ex, and I wasn't work, I wasn't uh, working yet at the time. Uh, we used to go to D and D games at his uh, friends ha at his family friend's um, house with his uncle. Sadly, his uncle has passed passed away last year. Last year, essentially. And um, we would have a D and D set. We have D and D essentially. And I think one character I made was a uh, shoot. Uh, I know one character was a dragonborn. I just do not remember for the life of me. I think it was a warlock or a sorcerer or something. That was one character that I made, and another was an elf. And I think she was a sorcerer, too. If I remember correctly, I'd have to try and find... Uh, the notebook I had that had all the uh, character sheets in it. Because I actually had physical character sheets that I had written down on my stuff on. So, yeah. No, it was an elf that wasn't a dragonborn. It was an uh, elf that had wild, er, I can't feel it was wild magic or the other thing. That made you have, more, like, you can have dragonborn features, essentially. Okay, now character creation. Uh, do not reset. Now what do I want to make? That's a question! <laughs> uh, da 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 Because if I go with an elf, any kind of elf, whether it be an elf, a dro, um, I think a half elf, I think those three kind of disqualify you for a certain thing that happens in the goblin hideout where you have to, where you go and find one of the other characters, the druid guy, and... I wouldn't be able to experience that because I was playing it before and I was a, I think it was an elf. And I saw that that didn't work and I was like, how am I going to do this without Kit without having to fight everybody? Because if you weren't an elf, you didn't have uh, to fight because you end up getting poisoned and then rescued later. But in this, you don't have to you know worry about fighting all the goblins in the area, essentially. Uh, da 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 Trying to figure this out. It's always the hard part, especially when it comes to this sort of thing. Regular character creation isn't that hard. When it comes to any other game. Because you don't have this to figure out. And even then... It's not much, because, like, Dragon Age Origins was only, you had only human, elf, and dwarf to pick from. And that wasn't too bad of a decision to figure out. Oh, wait. Anyway, um, what was I saying? But yeah, this is a whole heck of a lot harder when it comes to character creation, especially when you're not good at this sort of thing. Now, if you're good... At D and D, then most likely you'll have a lot easier time picking a character because you could work with any other character you picked. 
I've never played, like, uh, some of the stuff that's more technical, like monks or paladins or, you know, stuff like that. Because, uh, look at all this. Because usually I either play a rogue, or I play a sorcerer, and that's pretty much it. Also, I try. I just created a cleric character. I hate that, uh, if you pick a drow, you can't have your, uh, deity be the drow deities. Essentially, you had to pick someone else, which sucks. Okay, back to the, um, 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 I'm gonna have to change that, uh, hair later if I go with a dwarf. How short is a dwarf to a halfling? Let's see. I think dwarfs are taller. Yeah, dwarfs are taller. Okay. I just like to see how tall they were because it's annoying because I was playing a halfling. I think a halfling warlock. And it was annoying because every single character was looking down at me when they were talking to me. It was like, oh, come on! I know it's a good attention to detail, concerning the height difference, but it's just annoying to me. I don't want to be reminded that I'm short. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, I could go with a human. Maybe I'll go with the Paladin this time. Let's see. Select subclass. O for the Ancients, O for the Devotion, or O for Vengeance. Hmm. Let's see. The Tenants for the O for the Ancients. Kindle the light through acts of kindness, and kindle the light of hope to the blankest hollows of despair. Shelter the light, where love blossom, love blooms, stand against the devilry that would snip its stem. Preserve your own light. Delight in culture and small joys to preserve the light in your own heart. Okay, let's see what up a devotion says. Courage, stride dauntlessly into action, compassion, show clemency when prudent, and lend your arm to those in need. Duty. Tend your responsibilities, obey just laws, and support those entrusted to your care. And of a vengeance. Fight the greater evil. Exerting your wisdom, identify the higher morality in any given instance and fight for it. No mercy for the wicked. Chasten those who, deal, who, who dole out their villainy by wiping their blight from the world forever. Or chasing, whatever. Ah, uh, da 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 da. Yeah, Opa Devotion is like a knight in shining armor. Um, Opa the Ancients. Hmm. Or Opa Vengeance. It's annoying that you don't get, like, a backstory for some of these, like, oh, like, if you were on the Oath of Vengeance, like, the reason 
that you were on the Oath of Vengeance? Like, I don't know, a tragic backstory of yours? Like, a fam your family was killed off in the most gruesome way and you were unable to do anything about it? And that's why you're on the Oath of Vengeance? You know, something like that. I mean, that's kind of the whole idea of role-playing, but... It would have been nice to actually see it implemented in the game. But that would be very difficult unless they went the route where, you know, you were adopted. So that way they could use the same family for all those, for any of the, no matter which race you picked. Which actually could still be good. Um, shoot, I don't even know what to pick. <laughs> I don't know what to pick. Uh, I'll probably pick that one. Holy Rebuke. Uh, da 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 da. Hmm. What would work best for a paladin would be either acolyte, a sage, noble, soldier, maybe even outline, outlander. Could be a folk hero too. Hmm. And this is also annoying to try and figure out too. Go noble. Hold on, what was the information for the paladin? Simple weapons and martial weapons. I'm gonna have to. Yeah, definitely gonna have to edit the. This video. Okay, good. I could use a martial weapon, which a rapier is a martial weapon. But paladins are known for freaking heavy weapons. Aren't they? Or no, I'm thinking of barbarian. I'm sorry, barbarian is the one I'm thinking of. Uh, I still had to pick one. I can't do persuasion because that's already I can't pick that one. Intimidation or history or athletics. Hmm. 
Do I want to pick that or... Oh yeah, I do have a choice. Um... God dang. Hey, it's so annoying to pick! Investigation, probably better. Edit appearance. Um, oh, we're going female. Where to next? Oh no! Hmm. What was that? Okay. Hair. No eyes first. Um. What kind of blue would that look like? Oh, that's pretty. I like that color. Hair, uh, I don't spend a lot of time normally on character creation. Facial hair, I don't really do makeup. Uh, skin. Let's go a little lighter. Okay, I think I like that a little better. Proceed. Guys know by now. You need to oh. Um. I don't care what she looks like, to be honest. We've made our character. But yeah, um, this is gonna be very interesting because I've never played a paladin before. But I hope I at least do decent at it if I mess up any. Or you guys have tips for me, you know, let me know. Hang on, let me actually let me turn this down. up slightly. Cause I didn't want to be, you know, drowned out. By, you know, the audio of the game. Cause you really don't want it. But yeah, if you guys have any tips for me on how to play a character like this better, you know, let me know. Cause I'm probably gonna suck at it. To be completely honest with you. But yeah, so far, even with the Streamlabs running in the background, this is still running piece pretty good, really good. It's like it's not, you know, choppy like it was before. Also, those things uh, are supposed to 
uh, shoot, mimic his arms because when it tore one off, it kind of looked like it hurt him. Does it just automatically teleport you somewhere random, or do you pick where it, where it takes you? This seems like it takes you somewhere random. That would suck if it was random. I'm like, where am I supposed? What am I supposed to do? I just realized the music in the background is kind of like a more epic version of By the River. I think that's what it's called. The music that was in the character creation menu. Literally. We're literally in hell. Oh, Great. And now we can get the freak out of our pod. But yeah, this thing seems to be running a lot better than it did before. So now we actually get to gameplay. I know what it is. This is the pool that thing came from. The parasite now writhing behind your eye. Let's see. Investigate the pool. That was possibility. You notice nothing more than meets the eye. Let's just leave it alone. Because I know if we try and reach down to touch it, it's going to explode and knock me back. Though the funny thing is, it didn't do that before in previous uh, playthroughs. When I would reach down to touch it and didn't and hadn't passed and failed the ability check, it would just break. But I guess that's the good ending for that. If you fail it, it's, I guess a certain way, or you know, no, you notice nothing about it, then it goes boom. Let's see what this does. Cause that's what happened to me before. It knocked me back. I was like, "Good lord, I didn't think it would do that." Cause that's why I wasn't wasn't expecting it. Let's see what this goblin's got. Images of goblins, their habits and histories flash into your mind. Rune slate. What's this? A schematic of a nautiloid flashes into your mind. Nerves, sinews, as much living being as ship. Huh.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I know. You want to be free. A thousand years of humanoid history. Elves, dwarves, humans, and more flash behind your eyes. Let's go up here and see what we can find. We know! We are coming! Very well. Yeah, so now I can turn the camera around. Yes, you've come to save us from this place. From this place, you'll free us. The exposed brain quivers in expectation. Please, before they return. They return. Yeah. A newborn. Born new from this husk. You know no creature like this. One that is more brain than person. Of course I failed that save. Remove us from this body. From this case. Free us. Please. I'm trying to figure out what would be better. Should I try and carefully get it out, or should I just bust it open and risk injuring it? Good. You notice edema, a swelling of the brain causing pressure where it strains against the shell of the skull. Okay, um, let's try medicine. Oh, I got advantage. Oh, I got a natural 20. Nice. Critical success. The brain lifts from the skull, but you notice an opportunity. You could cripple the strange creature, making it more subservient, should it prove a threat. I'd rather not. We're gonna need all the allies we can get at this point, so I'd say spare it. Because if you weaken it, you're gonna run into some problems in the future fights on this ship. So, yeah. Besides, I think it ends up dying anyway when the ship crashes. Right? Let me know. Pauses, listening. Something behind your eyes seizes. Because I don't know if it does or not. We must go to the helm. If it does, it, if it survives, let me know. Because I don't ever see it again. Once I uh, once the ship crashes and we're out on the beach. We are going to the helm. Swift as my feet can carry me. Okay, let's go find Lazo and get the freak out of this place. There's Lazo behind us. Abomination. This is your end. Hey, 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 you saw me in the frickin' pod, didn't you? Skin tingles. Visions rush past. A dragon swing, a silver sword, and a flash of your face seen through the strange woman's eyes. Oh, my head. What is this? Sukvar, you are no thrall. Vlak 
kids blesses me this day. Yeah, you don't want to face Together, a paladin. We might survive. Especially once I learn Holy Smite. If I remember correctly, paladins get that. We can do nothing until we escape. That must be our priority. Yeah, we need to get out of here. First, we exterminate the imps. Then we find the helm and take control of the ship. Found by me. As for that thing, it will remain tame as long as it believes we are thralls. It may be of use in the fight to come. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's why I didn't want to cripple it. Yeah, you go and die, creatures. Bye bye. Blood goes easy okay. these days. Hang on. Holy rebuke. Uh, I don't want to use my stuff yet. I'll strike you down. Bye bye. Dang, we each got to take one out. You proved surprisingly adequate in battle. Well, I mean, I would hope so, considering she's a paladin. Now, to the helm. Okay, we got a light crossbow. What's inside? Check that one. Yeah, I already checked that one. Um, let's check this one. Check the brawl. Got some gold. I'm gonna take anything that seems like it would be. Oh, we got a warhammer. I just realized that. Oh, and I realized that, yeah, you could hit this, hit this button, move around, and it would highlight everything of use, or interactability, I guess, in the area. And this will heal you. Better. Ship won't be able to take another dragon attack. We need to get out before it's too late. Scale mail of devotion. Oh, really? Really? It limits my- it's a good thing I'm not playing a dang stealthy one! <laughs> oh good, healing potions. We're gonna need those. Here we 
Okay, let's. If not over, then through. I actually know exactly what I need to do up to the point where you have to get to the where you actually arrive at the helm. Sadly, you won't be able to help these people. dead but he's totally unresponsive yeah sadly you can't do anything you! Get me out of this damn city! we have no time for stragglers well she could be of use the construction is too alien nothing looks familiar this ship is crashing do you intend to die for a stranger? I mean... Try that contraption next to the pod. They did something to it when they sealed me in. Hurry! Please! I mean... Having a cleric would be really helpful. The fuck? Oh. Something I saw something moving. What that gold key is for? I saw something this moving in the background when I was going ready to open this door. I'm like, what the fuck am I seeing? I gotta get a little closer for it to pop up into view. There we go. This thing has the key to it. Uh, don't do anything with this thing because that will force this person in here to turn into a mind flayer. Don't do it. Don't do it. Unless you want to see it. Because there's nothing you can do to save that person, sadly. No matter if you have the rune or not. Console appears dormant. The console hums to life. Nice. The gas. the device make it seem more like a beating heart than a machine. Perhaps it will open the nearby pod. Let's see what it does. you feel a hideous squirming in your head. And that's that is an annoying feeling. Discomfort fades and another sensation washes over you. Connection. Authority. I was about to say, the only way you could fail is if you got a critical fail. You feel the biomechanical brain of the console process your command and yield to it. A shiver runs across your mind. You feel sated. Okay, now we have a cleric. We have a fighter, paladin, and cleric. So we have a magic user. Sort of, because the cleric can fight regular fight too. I thought that damn thing was going to be my coffin. Yeah, you really don't want that to be your coffin. Trust me. Lurches into her thoughts. Her gratitude is mixed with wariness, because you have a gift with you. I'm guessing that Lazel heard that. Fair yeah, point. with dangerous companions, what Looks we need like to fight. There's plenty of fighting ahead. Let me come with you. We can get off this ship and watch each other's backs along the way. Good point. 
Yeah, let's get going. Shadowheart. One moment. Come on, time to go. I'm not gonna question. Let us make for the hell. We've wasted enough time already. She's right. Lead on. Poor guy's dazed. I can't save him. It sucks. But even if I could save him, how the heck would I get him out of here? Because he doesn't look like he's dressed to be a fighter, and he's not a named character, so... Okay, um... Shoot. Should I continue and... No, let's... I'm gonna end this off here, guys. 